Xalophona here with Mario for another classic Yu-Gi-Oh! character duel. We have two beloved characters from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX going head to head, seeing which one of them will come out on top. We How have. How dare you? What? Not both of them are not from GX. One Dar of them I don't know these characters. Eight. I just guess, and sometimes <laughs> I'm right. Okay. Um, I'm guessing Akiza is the one that's from. Uh, yeah, yeah. She's yeah. she's she's the she's from the. So I was fifty percent right with my statement. You can't these, take that. The, these are just arguably these are just arguably the be the strongest female protagonists, so Okay. What about Taya? Come on. What about Dark Magician Girl Jr. out here? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's that, that was a was sad a, moment for all the women way? there. She was okay, okay. So in the show what they were trying to emphasize was little Yugi was supposed to be like the dark magician or Yami and all that, right? Sure. And she was supposed to be like the dark magician girl to his dark magician kind of deal. That's what they were trying to emphasize at some points. Oh, okay, great. So what you're saying, Mario, is women are only back up to men. No, you do not get me canceled. I'm just saying that's what it said. Okay, so that's what Konami is saying. Okay. That's what Konami is saying. That's what they were trying to Emphasize because whenever they were represented as dual monsters, mm -hmm. that's what they they always appeared as like the dark magician or the dark magician girl kind of deal. Gotcha. Well, I'm going to start with a cyber petite angel and add one of these lovely cards here to my hand. Uh, it can never be a bad thing to have a Benton in your hand. Not sure what else is in this deck, but I got a lot of cyber angels. So we'll see what we can do. Fortunately, I think a lot of Yu Gi Oh has course corrected in that department. Uh, all all right. right. So I drew a very monster heavy hand. Okay. All right. Let's. Hmm. I do only have a cyber petite angel on the field. I'm going to summon my ruddy rose witch. Oh, it's so strong. Uh oh. Uh oh. Using it, I add the black witch of the black rose. Oh no, black rose stuff. Ooh, what's my extra deck? Oh, Cyber Blader. Fun. And I will select the Rose Lover. Alrighty. And I get to normal summon her. 1700 damage. Oh, gosh. Okay. Not bad. You don't get your effect because it was not normal summoned, but... Yeah. Wish I did, though. Yeah. All right. But which of the Black Rose gets to attack? Spirit range? Barrier! No battle damage for me. Darn it, she did run that annoying card. Yeah, and since I normal summoned a Cyber Petite Angel, you'll bet I'm going to use that Spirit Barrier to protect my life points. There we go. All I'll right. end the turn there. Very good. And this is when it's just summoned in general. Oh, what wording? It doesn't say normal or special summoned. It just says summoned. Cyber Petite Angel. What a classic. They got to specify everything these days. They really do, because everyone is like... Like, it all started when they kind of decided to say, Oh yeah, uh, sir, I accidentally said select instead of target in the uh, in the description of this card effect. Do you think that's fine? Yeah, it's the same <laughs> thing, so... And all yeah. that, and then someone just argued. It says I you that card cannot be targeted. I'm selecting your card, and that's where we spiraled out of control. Yep. And there's so many other examples too. I'm gonna discard my Etoile Cyber to uh, target destroy. There we go. Ooh, actually, we can go hard here. Uh, y oh, wait, no. Gain's only during that step. All right, we're gonna be patient. We're gonna be patient. Um, I'm going to attack directly with Cyber Gymnast. And then just see if I can get uh, a ritual going eventually here. So I got two of three pieces I need for a successful ritual in my hand. But we could probably do for a little more. We will see. What do you have? You got a Witch of the Black Rose out here. You got a Ruddy Rose Witch, so I'm assuming you have something at least over 800 still in there. Yeah, I'm trying to... Plant, plant... Uh... He's cooking. You know what? I am just going to normal summon my Red Rose Dragon. Yeah, that'll do it. 
while its only effects really go off if it's used as a synchro material, it has enough power to destroy your yeah. cyber gymnast. You got me for now. Obviously, life points are still secure. Um, all 200 of them. But we'll have to draw some good cards here. Come on, ritual spell, ritual spell. Oh, no, that's not that. Okay, well, here's what we're going to do for this turn. Your move. <laughs> oh, boy, playing an old-school ritual deck. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, you have to draw the cards. You Here need. we go. <laughs> yep. All right. If I don't have a level seven is the is the tar, is the amount I'm looking for. Okay. Ooh, so I'll just summon three. out Roast Fairy. All right. But I guess I'll use these two to go into a level Ooh. six. Blended Rose. I can't be using that. the Red Rose Dragon to special summon. The Rocks Rose Dragon. Rocks Rose Dragon adds to my hand the Frozen Rose spell card. Oh, you're setting up too strong. I got to get in my place fast. All right, I think I know what I'm doing. Uh, let's see. I'll add the Basil Rose Shoot. Okay, full hand. Beautiful. Let's see. I'm seeing. And, yeah, I don't have enough to make that a level 7, so I'll just set down a few cards. Ooh, scary. Even scarier. Who knows now how I'll it could be go. in this day and age. Now I'll just attack you with the Splendid Rose. Call it haunted! Get out of here, Cyber Petite Angel! So I can add my Cyber Machine Angel Ritual to that. And Machine Angel Ritual. Splendid Rose, cut that little angel in half. Yep. Had to do it. Attack. Very good. Then I activate the effect of Splendid Rose. Yeah. By banishing one plant in the graveyard. I attack his attack points in half, but I can attack again. That's right. Part of me was hoping you'd be like when it gave you the chance to switch your attack it would be you'd mess up and do something like not have splendid rose attack but i didn't think it would happen it's just a chance anyway we might be in a good position here machine angel ritual i may be i may be dumb sometimes but not all the time there you go that's all you need um so we'll use our entire hand here to bring out Vrash. there we go baby all right so Vrash, i forget what you do um but let's activate um it's a zero hold on so, where well, you can destroy as many face-up monsters your opponent controls as special summoned as possible. Lovely! Activate. And of course, from the graveyard, activate Benton. And why not Idaten? Activate. Use all the goodies. Chain it up! So, clearly I was stacking my hand with good effects. Um, let's get another Cyber Petite Angel. Get our, get our normal summon searcher. Okay! Boss monster oh. status. Let's go. Yeah, you brash. Get that cyber petite angel out of here. I will. Let's just add the ritual to my hand because uh, the number of ritual monsters I have is much higher than the number of ways to get the spell card. So, brash, let's go. That may be hard for you to overcome. There's not a single card in your deck that can beat brash. I activate the effect of my hedge guard. I'll take more damage by cutting my monster attack more than that, but I my monster lives this turn. Well done. Ooh. I can attack again. I can attack Wait, again. What? I can Wait, attack what? again. When I use my effect, I can make a second attack during the battle phase this turn. Oh god, no. Ho ho. Now I got to do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go play through. I was setting you up till I do something here. Can I continue? Can I continue this attack? Yep. Go for it. What do you got next? What do you got next? Use it all. All right, defense it's mode. Defense Fair. mode this time. Okay, so you're getting yourself set up a little bit. Continue the attack again. Continue the attack. 
Okay. And a nice 300 to your life points. That's why we put out the Cyber Petite Angel now. Okay. Good luck. You do have a six card hand. But I was able to field my uh, boss monster and power it up. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, how much defense points does Mario's monsters have? All over 300, I'll say. So... I could just go for the win here. I think I will try. I am going to normal summon Cyber Gymnast. And at risk of not having a play for later on in this, I... Oh, I cannot activate this thing. Oh, hey, because they yeah, need to... Attack. It's target. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, well, I have plenty of life points. Let's gamble. Because I don't know if I'll be able to continue doing two attacks. Yeah, because I just get the two attacks that turn that I use as ability. Yep, unfortunate. Aha, Worth the gamble. Poison. But, yeah, Lord Poison can actually do pretty well for you. Special summons another target. Beautiful. Uh, You can't attack, right? I can't attack again, so. I mean, Cyber Petite Angel sure can. Uh, won't, but sure can. That's <laughs> uh, a good choice. Okay, anyway. Now they have that out there. When that card is destroyed, oh, I get okay. to add that card back to the hand. Very nice. So I did have to send away my Machine Angel Ritual to do that, but if I can keep momentum on my side, that's probably the play here. Ooh, add another card. You got a lot of good searchers in there, which I do have my Cyber Petite Angel, so I can't complain. Unfortunately, I think that's the end of, yeah, end of that. a lot of good special summons. That's what you're lacking, which I think we both are. Um, okay, make your opponents attack a direct attack instead of that, and that's fun. I'll use this for funsies. And since you have Spirit Barrier... Combos! You take damage and I don't. Okay. Lovely. Um, I guess we just go for the attack. That seems to be a way to win the game. I thought you were going to activate that effect again. I could have, but it seems that this is going to be okay. Yeah, by the way. I guess you could I have. live another turn. Yeah, very good. I keep living. Yeah, good job. And I keep attacking with my petite angel. <laughs> Just getting something in there, you know? Yeah. Okay. I think I finally drew something that can help me, actually. Okay. So, I summon the White Rose Dragon. White Rose Dragon brings back a level 3 Rose Dragon. Mm hmm Come back out for the third and for the third time. Rocks Rose. Thorn of Malice, too. Oh, no, he's got seven. He's got seven. <laughs> That's right. Come to the field, the Rose, the Dragon of Many Roses. Hmm. The Black Rose Dragon. Everyone knows it has the ability to destroy all cards on the field. How will I possibly prevent this? Oh, by my card's main effect of being able to stop that from happening. Great. Darn it. <laughs> Rash is just too good. I, I don't foresee myself getting this in like every duel, but once I get Rash out here, it does count. Actually, funny that. enough. Funny enough, I saw that you didn't have a proper boss monster in that deck oh. when I was originally make when I originally <laughs> got it. So I added in Vrash as as a as a boss monster for you. Well, she's Since working. You, uh, other because other than that, yeah, it's other a than that, Blader in the extra deck of twenty one hundred attack. Exactly, and I added like my boss monster overwhelms that monster no matter what. So it's like I wanted to give you a better chance. That's fair, but yeah, Vrash. When a monster would be destroyed, I can use its effect in the gate. So that's getting just pretty well for me. Ooh, if I get a Blade Skater, I can actually make my fusion card. Um, but I think at risk of uh, losing this duel, I'm just going to summon the Etoile Cyber, because it can do some good direct damage. And go for the attack with Vrash. Let her take the win if the cards allow. Rematch! I held out uh, that monster off No, you held while. on. You want first or second? I'll take second. I shall go first. 
Alright, we have Cyber 2 2 out here. Nice. Hmm. I think. We will. Struggle, to be honest. Um. My veil is in this deck. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to end my turn. I don't have any good defensive play right here, so I'm just going to end turn there. Set down this card. Set down another card. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to normal summon my Ruddy Rose Witch like before. Activate. Yep. Fair enough. I'm just going to flip this so it stops going off. Doesn't do anything right now anyway. So, I did look it up, by the way. Okay. It does say that I normal summon the Witch of the Black Rose. Yes. Because now I normal summon her. Her effect still doesn't go off, though. Uh, oh, yeah, you control no other cards. Oh, there you go. The trap cards I set up. I'm, I'm so used to playing down those cards to set up first. Yeah, it makes enough sense, but that does seem to be the answer. Yeah, it does say you normal summon it. But yeah, that additional line. All right, you got your Phoenixian cluster. Good damage to open up with. We're gonna yeah, for once you somewhere. don't you don't have like a monster to defend yourself with at that time. Yes, very much so. Now, what is there to be concerned with? I think I'm still gonna play it slow, and we're gonna go Cyber Petite Angel. Get the ritual to my hand. And I think that's where I gotta end my turn. Yep. That's it. Alright, so I normal summon my Phoenixian seed and Ooh. activate it by tributing it. You have it in your hand. Beautiful. I added it to the hand, yeah. Great combo. And just in case you ever do that stuff again. Oh, during this turn. Oops. I thought that was a <laughs> continuous spell. Nope. I thought that was going to be a funny little counter to your thing. Yeah. But there you go. That's done. Then you get another big hit to my life points. Well. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, yeah, it destroys itself. So it starts off. A, so there's a reason this card was banned for a while. Mm -hmm. um, because it, it has almost an infinite burn of 800 per turn. Yeah, it's pretty good. By banishing that, it comes right back in defense mode. Yeah, that but is a if lot. It, if it banned it, but if it's destroyed again, it automatically destroy. It deals 800 damage to you. Okay. Well, we will be destroying it again. That being said, so I can attack you directly, but it's not gonna do a significant force of damage. So we're gonna have to gymnast here, and I think just with the. Well, actually, we can attack him and do his thing. Um, if I... Yeah, so we're going to use this. We're going to destroy Cyber 2-2. And destroy your witch there. Then I'm going to try White Veil out. Battle. Attack. So White Veil. And do that. Nutrient Z. Fun. I'll take that out of the picture. And, yeah, I'm not in a great position yet, but at least I cleared that field. So, I'll end my turn there. So, it's a three-on-three three card. Might have equalized here. I'm just Let's down on see. life points. wonder why the, C the Phoenix Cluster didn't get back. You, you thought it was going to come back again? Yeah, because it says if it's destroyed, it doesn't say by card effect. It doesn't say by battle card Well, effect. no, it's just, you have to remove... Oh, just any plant-type monster from the graveyard. Yeah. Oh, during my end phase. Okay, oh, okay. so during my end phase, it's going to come back. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was had to specifically be the Phoenix Seed, but nope. It's that good. That'll be a problem. Okay. So you just need to get through your own turn, which is possible. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> you monster! I'm in so much trouble. Yeah, yeah there's nothing the I can draw to save me here. Oh. 
Oh. <laughs> the was, chain order. That was a strange turn of events there. Yeah, I'm gonna lose. Well, that's the thing, though. The the way this uh, equip card works is that during your turn, you have it, but when it's my turn, I have it. Okay. Um. Anyway, your guy didn't come back. Oh, you don't have any uh, plants in the graveyard, that's why. Yeah, but once you once you send a few, car few of my cards to the graveyard, it'll come right back. Okay, so we just gotta win before then. So how do I work this card? I got the White Knight Dragon in my hand right now. Um, he's just a tribute summon, huh? Okay. Uh, we're gonna use Gymnast, get rid of Defusion, pop that out of here, and get as many licks in as possible. So, attack. Oh, darn it, White Veil doesn't pop your uh, Mark of the Rose. Nope. Okay. Well, that's that. And uh, I guess I have to end my turn. Still in a position where I could just draw a good ritual monster and be in a passable position, but you're still in a better one. Okay. Place this down. Activate. Ah, that's rough. And that's a plant! Oh no! <laughs> yup! Okay, okay. So you what are can putting I do yourself here? on a timer if you destroy this this Phoenix seed right here. I know, it has to be done too. Yeah, it just has to be done. Oh man, a stupid mark of the rose! Darn it! Don't even know why someone said. I guess I have to. Um, yeah, we we go battle. So when Cardier destroys a opponent's monster by battle, yeah. Okay, now it goes off. Thank goodness. Good luck with your draw. It might make all the difference. All right. Yeah, cause uh, of the field's mine, but the life points aren't. Part of the cards. Did he draw any attacking monster? I did not know. Okay. 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 We can play. We can play. We can play. Um, do I just go for this or do I save it for big plays? Cause it's gonna take a while to chip you down anyway. Sure will. Um, I think. I'm going to put out my White Knight Dragon. I think that's my best course of action. So we tribute summon. Oh. What did you do? Oh, that's right. Your White Veil, if it's destroyed or removed, you deal. T you take 2,000 damage. I forgot about that. that. Okay. Well. Forgot about that. Yeah. You take 3,000 damage when the fist card leaves your spell and trap card zone. So I probably didn't deserve to win that tool anyway, but okay. All the marks. I'm gonna go second this time. I've been going first, so. Okay. I will. Sure. Once again. Open up a Cyber Petite Angel. Don't have the protection card to protect my life points here, but that's fine. We'll just uh, set ourselves up for later. And I got my White Knight Queen. Maybe we can use. I don't know. And turn. We do that. All right, let's set this card down. Now, normal summon my Rose Witch. Ooh, could be a tree. Has two tributes. Imagine if you keep Not it many. on the field for that. It's very possible if you don't have your Cyber Gym. That's Cyber Gymnast, though. Gymnast has been like a good uh, card to cover some of my weaknesses. But anyway, we have Rush. So, we will have to get rid of some good cards for it, and uh, leave my hand empty and useless, but it may be enough. So, we can add to my hand, um, I suppose, does the Kini do anything good in hand? I don't think so, yeah. So, we're just going to add another Cyber Petite Angel. And, do I normal summon it? Sure, why not? And then that can add to my hand more Ritual. Not that I have another one, but for later. Battle. 
Drop the rose, witch. Oh, baby. Cyber Teen Angel. We gotta start carving those life points down nice and early. All right. So hoping to be able to use that. But... Rark! Mark of the Rose again! Yikes. Not only that, Zylo. Mm-hmm. This is gonna be a lot of damage. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Okay. The yeah, Mark of the Rose is huge. And, oh, he has attack points now. Um... Yeah, that's kind of unavoidable. Yikes! Um, avoid destruction. I'll pass. Like, maybe I should. It's no benefit to keeping my cyber. Get the angel out here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you have another plant in the graveyard for sure. So, uh, this is we're, we're in a rough position. Yeah. You get your monster back, but... For now? <laughs> then you get it back. Man, there's so many dead cards in this deck. I hate it. So huh? is mine, too. Like, I be I keep drawing the Giga Plant with... And I every time I get close to bringing it out... Yeah, I lose. You just... There you go. Got nothing. Lord Poison, come on out. I'll let you choose by, by your own monster or by Lord Poison. Let Vrash dominate the field. They are definitely the strongest card out here. And when they're used against me, I don't stand a chance. The Woo! freaking her, one of her signature cards, the mark of the rose is what got me this one. that was beautiful and the synergy there i mean the the burning didn't like do too much to me obviously but it put more pressure on and the mark of the rose just yeah that, that did it? some heavy lifting well that is that we have our victor and it sure ain't alexis so well oh. to be fair to be fair alexis is more more offensive with her style while Akiza it, she just has variety I feel like that's what got her the the win here is just variety variety did help significantly yes I had the bigger boss monster but the, the toolbox did the trick for sure so if you guys have enjoyed this let us know what other two characters you want to see go head to head and we could see it happen in the near future subscribe so you don't miss the next video and we'll see you next time see ya folks